Hello, Joe. I'm Pam, your patient advocate medical manager. Your primary care doctor has asked me to accompany you on your visit to see Dr. Kidney because you have chronic kidney disease, CKD. Hi, Pam. Do I have a kidney problem? Oh, my. Does that mean I'm going to end up on dialysis? Let's go see Dr. Kidney, and we'll sort out your chronic kidney disease. Hello, Joe. I'm Dr. Kidney. Your PCP has referred you to me because he has detected chronic kidney disease, which we call CKD. I feel fine and have no trouble peeing, so how can I have a kidney problem? Well, a normal person has two kidneys located on either side of the spine. The heart continuously pumps blood to the kidneys, which then filters and cleans the blood. The clean blood is then returned back to the body's general circulation. The waste removed by the kidneys becomes urine, which flows to the bladder through straw-like tubes and then expelled out of the body by the bladder. Joe, the kidneys also regulate the minerals and fluid status of the entire body. Like I said, doctor, I have no problems peeing and my urine looks nice and yellow. Uh, how can I have CKD? Well, unfortunately, most patients with CKD are unaware of it because symptoms do not become noticeable until the two kidneys combined function is severely impaired, down to less than 15%. Therefore, CKD is most often a silent disease detected by routine blood work. Uh, it's scary to think that someone could have CKD and be totally unaware of it, like me. This problem is a healthcare crisis because it affects over 25 million people in the U.S. That's correct. We now have an epidemic of CKD. One out of every two people over age of 70 have it. Why are there so many people with CKD? Well, there are a variety of reasons. But the main factors include an aging population and a growth of the number of people with diabetes and hypertension. Can you explain more about what happens to kidney function as we age? Imagine a healthy person whose kidney function is represented by a 100-step staircase. Each year after age 50, the person takes one step down, losing 1% of their kidney function. So an average healthy 70-year-old would have a kidney function of approximately 80% and would be standing on step number 80. Many patients who have chronic medical problems like diabetes and or hypertension have weakened kidney function well before they reach age 50 and wouldn't start at the top of the 100-step staircase. Correct. To make matters worse, these are the same patients who often have a much faster rate of kidney weakening and can lose 5 to 10 percent kidney function per year. Dr. Kidney, can you explain to Joe at what point a person with CKD needs to begin becoming concerned with needing dialysis? Sure. When a patient's combined kidney function is below 20%, we need to begin preparing them for what we call kidney replacement therapy. The patient will need to understand that in order to survive and not die from kidney failure, he or she will most likely need to eventually go on either dialysis or receive a kidney transplant. Dialysis is often referred to as an artificial kidney, as it allows us to clean the blood and regulate the fluids and minerals. At what point does a person with CKD need to go on dialysis? In most cases, when their kidney function is at 10% or below. Dr. Kidney, can you explain how we actually measure kidney function? As this will help Joe to understand what CKD is. When your doctor sends you to the lab to get general blood tests, they almost always order a kidney panel. This panel will include blood levels of creatinine and BUN. Those are waste products that are continuously created by cells, tissues, and organs as a byproduct of their normal metabolism. The test results reflect how well or poorly the kidneys are filtering out these waste products. So Joe, the higher the levels of BUN and creatinine are, the weaker the kidney function is. Okay, doctor, but how does this help me know at what percent my kidneys are working? It's now standard practice for all labs to report a person's EGFR whenever they perform a kidney panel. 
The EGFR is automatically calculated by using the BUN and creatinine results. The EGFR can be thought of as a person's percentage of kidney function. Very good, Pam. The EGFR stands for Estimated Glomerular Filtration Rate and is simpler for patients to see it as an estimate of their percentage of kidney function. If the number is less than 60%, that patient has CKD. The higher the creatinine and BUN counts, the dirtier the blood, the lower the kidney function is. Dr. Kidney, why do I have CKD? That is an excellent question and will require a comprehensive evaluation. This includes a list of all your chronic medical problems, a family medical history, a list of all your current medications, a detailed physical exam, and laboratory testing of blood and urine, and in most cases, a kidney ultrasound. With all this information, we will be in a better position to make a diagnosis as to the cause of your CKD. Are there medications that can cure my CKD? Unfortunately, the answer is no. There are currently no drugs that can make the kidney stronger. Instead, our goal is to create a kidney care team for our patients, which does everything it can to slow the progression of CKD. Avoidance of certain meds that can be harmful to the kidneys is also very important. Especially the pain meds called non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, which are available both as prescription and over-the-counter. They must be avoided in all CKD patients because of their high risk of damaging the kidneys. The names of some of these NSAIDs are Aleve, Motrin, Ibuprofen, Naprosin, and Celebrex. Dr. Kidney, you've done a great job in educating us about CKD. Every patient with CKD should be educated such that working with their kidney doctor, they can answer these three questions. Number one, at what percent are my kidneys working? Number two, what caused my kidneys to get weak? Number three, what can my kidney care team and I do to slow the progression of my CKD? Thank you, Dr. Kidney and Pam. I have a much better understanding of CKD 